I just got a new toy for Christmas. It's actually a pretty nice one, too. This is the Field Piece HS36 multimeter. And this is actually one of my favorite instruments to use. Being in refrigeration school, I use a lot of different testing equipment, and Field Piece has by far been some of my favorite testing equipment because of how accurate it is, how easy it is to use, and how durable their equipment is. And I think the first thing I noticed when I got this was the button that said NCV and what that means is non-contact voltage basically what it does is if you hold the button it will actually tell you by making a noise and by lighting up right here under NCV and it will let you know if something is electrically active if it's energized without even touching it so I'm gonna show you just how sensitive this thing is and just how well it actually works so you hold the button Now I'm going to go over to that light switch on the wall next to the closet. I can be several feet away from it from a 120 volt light switch. And as soon as I just point this meter at it, it starts picking it up. I'm going to go over to this one, too. That's over two feet away, almost three feet. And the light's already coming on. You can see right there, it's lighting up about three feet away. Very, very useful for if you don't want to have to put your multimeter probes into something that you fear may be energized, just to check and see if it is, because there's always the risk that your hands may slip or accidentally touch something that's energized when you're checking. So this is definitely very useful to make sure if a power supply is properly de-energized or if it's turned on. There's also a backlight. If you turn it on any of the settings, it lights up and it's very clear and easy to read too. So it has volts AC alternating current, as well as a clamp-on amp probe, which you clamp around a wire to see how much amperage is going through it, and it attaches to the front here, like this. And basically what you do is you clamp it around a wire. This is my uh, air filter HEPA air purifier. Now keep in mind that you can only clamp around one wire at once or else they'll cancel each other out. Now this is going to be difficult to do to try to record video while holding the camera and pushing in those safety buttons inside the front cover to get it to turn on. Because this thing will only turn on if the if the front grill is in place. And it's inside these holes right here where I have to poke it. Can only do one at a time. Here, this is gonna be hard. Now, it's not reading exactly zero amps right now, but it is very close. One point one amps. So it's pulling one point one amps on the common wire of this uh, three speed permanent split capacitor motor. And it also has an accessory plug right here for a type K plug for a temperature probe. That I have set up over here. It's actually a really narrow bead type thermocouple. 
and it has a velcro strap to attach it to smaller pipes and I also have a temperature clamp this only goes down to 3 8 inch lines which is average liquid line size on most residential air conditioners and heat pumps and it's typically the smallest size line that you have to clamp but if you're working on something small like my Soleus window heat pump 12,000 BTU heat pump that has 5 16 and quarter inch lines in it you're going to want to use this. Use the Velcro, the Velcro strap to secure it onto the pipe. Plug it in. Set it to the 400 range on Fahrenheit and Celsius. Right now it's reading 77.8 degrees. I'm going to fire up my heat pump and this pipe right here is actually the hottest part of the system when it's running. It's on the discharge line coming off the compressor. And you'll see the temperature start going up. That kind of temperature probe is not only very, it's not only very accurate for getting line temperature readings when it's clamped in place, but it's also really accurate at getting air and water temperature readings as well. Again, very accurate. I already tested out this clamp earlier and and compared it to the thermocouple, and both of them read within about maybe just three tenths of a degree within each other, a range within each other, so they're very accurate. It also has a bunch of other readings as well. It has microfarad readings uh, for checking capacitors such as start capacitors and run capacitors. It also has DC voltage and it also can check ohms. It comes with a set of alligator clips, which have very well protected covers around them, so that you don't actually accidentally touch the alligator clip or have it slip off of, off of the wire and shock yourself when you're trying to attach it to something in a tight space. a pretty tight fitting plug. It surely won't come loose on you when you're working on it anyway. So the test leads plug in. Red goes to the positive side right here. And black goes to common. And it's pretty accurate at measuring voltage as well. Right now it's reading millivolts. I attach it to the side of this lithium-ion battery, which I just recharged. It's a 3.7 volt. But it's always going to be a bit higher than that. 4.12 volts. It's pretty accurate.
and it's actually a 4 volt charger that I'm using it on. So again, very accurate. It also has a handy magnet on the back of the case with a velcro strap. Very powerful rare earth magnet holds it in place and it never moves. Again, very useful for freeing up a hand if you want to hang it on a piece of equipment while you're working on it. And if we set it to volts AC, going to be kind of hard to do. I'm going to touch one probe to one prong of the electrical cord here and the other probe to the electrical to the other prong because it's alternating current and it doesn't matter which way you have it. It's kind of impossible for me to angle the camera right to show it and do this at the same time. But the screen said 116.3 volts. Very close to what it should be. Of course, I'm running a 12,000 BTU heat pump on the outlet there and it pulls 1100 watts so there's always going to be a bit of voltage drop on the outlets when you do that now the temperature probe is also very accurate I'm going to put it in ice water Now in reality, ice water, when you stir it, should be 32.0 degrees. It says 72.6, 73, it's picking up the air temperature right now and it's very good very fast and very accurate at doing that. Another reason why this type of temperature sensor is very accurate, although it can be fragile and you have to protect it and make sure that you don't beat it up too much. That's with any piece of equipment though. So I'm going to stir that around for a few seconds to let it cool all the water down evenly. Thirty three point five the water's getting colder now. Now that I'm stirring it. Thirty two point eight thirty three it's within one degree of what it actually is. Thirty two point five now. Again, that's within half a degree of what it actually is very very accurate piece of equipment here and these things are very rugged and durable so yeah thought I'd just show that to you guys there in the HVAC community for those of you who are training to become HVAC technicians 
or those of you who already are. This is just kind of an amateur demonstration and test of the piece of equipment and how it works and its functionality. I didn't, I didn't push it to its full limit of capability because I don't have the equipment to do that and I'm not going to put that kind of work on a, on a new piece of equipment. But it is very accurate and it's very durable. And the clamp-on temperature probe is very accurate too. I had them both attached to the same pipe on one of my heat pumps, one of my central heat pumps actually for my house and they were reading within a half a degree of each other. Very accurate pieces of equipment. I highly recommend Field Peace for anyone who's just getting into the field of HVAC and refrigeration or people who have already been in there for a while because these are very good pieces of equipment that are easy to use. They make good learning tools as well and they're durable very accurate and you'll you'll get pretty much dead accurate system measurements each time and you'll be sure to diagnose a system properly and accurately using field piece. I've used other brands before like Fluke and, and other brands out there as well that are top of the line considered at least and field piece in my opinion still tops them all. Even their older pieces of equipment still work really good and I use them regular, regularly in refrigeration school and they still hold up very well even after five or ten years sometimes so yeah this is the field piece HS36 stick meter just got it for Christmas and it's probably the best toy I've ever got for Christmas really 